course, there is a danger. There's a danger then, once the crisis is over, science is put back into its uh, little box or in a drawer, drawer to be you know, taken out again when the next crisis comes. And that's not sustainable. That's not really the way to address big challenges. But I do think that we learn a lot from the pandemic. I do think that society and the world are not the same. Uh, I do hope that we will not go back to the old normal, mm -hmm. but we will, uh, we will develop a new normality where the very good things that we learn from the pandemic, collaboration, uh, um, service, uh, support to each other, um, will really remain with us. And uh, this good lesson will help us also to address uh, any other future But already, Tabio, like, uh, we, we, we saw, saw the, the debate about vaccine, vaccine waivers and people very, very precious, precious about their intellectual, intellectual property, their national intellectual property, their corporate international uh, intellectual property as well. I, I fear yeah, that on territorial, territorial lines, lines, rivalries will... Uh, you serve that collaboration. Yes, and so that's why we, we must make sure that the, the dialogue and, uh, between uh, the private sector and, and the public sector, that government develop policy with, uh, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, industry and then firms to make sure that uh, the, the common good prevails, that the, a, a long-term shared vision on what is important for humanity prevails on uh, personal, individual, national, corporate interest. I think it's very important that we, we adopt a new uh, values first approach uh, where, um, uh, where we, uh, we commit, society commits to a long term uh, support for science and knowledge accessible to all because one of the main lessons we learned from the pandemic and we knew that of course that every time we have a crisis, every time we have a crisis the inequities across the world yeah. increase. The gap between developed and developing countries, the gap between those uh, with and those without access to education, technology, healthcare, etc.